am currently back in America. I am staying in Florida with my husband. We're staying at our friend's house. So this is not my house and I still don't have a library, but we are staying here until he and I can make our way to North Carolina where he and I will open our business. So in the meantime, I am still reading and today's video is going to be a review on The Night Film by Marisha Pessel. Night Film is about a private investigator named Scott McGrath whose career was ruined when he investigated a movie maker named Cordova. He lost his wife, he lost his job, and he lost his credibility. Years later, Cordova's daughter, Ashley, is found dead and it is believed to be a suicide, only Scott does not believe it at all whatsoever. He knows that Cordova is a dangerous man and he goes into investigating what happened to his daughter. So he meets along the way a bunch of people that have come in contact with Cordova's dynasty because no one knows who he is, no one is allowed to talk about him if they've been in his movies, and he knows that something really dark is happening. So little by little, he finds himself down this really dark path where he almost believes that he himself is into one of Cordova's dark movies. And it was really good. I know that most books that I read are usually more centered towards women, but this is a book that I actually really recommend for both genders, men, women, this book was fantastic. It was recommended to me by Emma from Emma Books. She's a YouTuber as well. And so quick shout out to say thank you because I really, really enjoyed this novel. Let's get started with this review. I'll just say this one time, put it out there and be done with it. But I am truly tired of mysteries taking place in New York City. I just think it's overdone, it's not original anymore. We know that New York City is this grueling, hustling, cruel place and it feels like every mystery I've read so far is always taking place in New York City. I'm a little bit tired of it. The descriptions of the city itself in the book were really well done. It made me feel claustrophobic, which was, I believe, the intent of the book. But I really did love this book. The format is genius and so interactive. There are pictures, there are text messages, and you really feel like you're the one actually leading the investigation. And it's so original and so cool. I loved it. The writing is fantastic and runs smoothly. The chapters are short, so it really is a fast read. It is a chunker though. It is 587 pages, but because the writing is so small, it kind of feels a lot longer. I gave it a four stars out of five on Goodreads because even though the plot, the mystery is really good and it is extremely interactive, there was not very much thrill to it. The plot runs smoothly, although it feels like every lead they come across just leads to another one and another one and nothing really ever happens for a little while. I personally needed some extra thrill thrown into the pages for it to be a five out of five. There is one main character, Scott McGrath, plus two side characters that help him figure out this mystery. And all three characters are so extremely flawed and I love that because all three of them help each other work through their past and it's really beautifully done. I can actually say that this so far has been the best mystery I've read and I'm starting to like mystery thrillers more and more, so if you have a recommendation, I would truly appreciate it. This is it for today's review. I hope that you will pick it up because honestly, this is such an underrated book and I don't understand why more people don't know about it. So if you pick it up, let's share opinions about it. My husband's currently reading it. He's also loving it. So let's talk soon. Bye.